na ni kuhusu <laughs> these two friends and these are very very interesting one by the way mm. very interesting okay? okay they were two friends eh? mm -hmm. so moja alikuwa ni daktari you know mm -hmm. yes na mwingine alikuwa ni mtu ambaye anafanya tu biashara zake so mm -hmm. they were very 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 good friends mm -hmm. but now this guy ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Peter mm -hmm. ndiye alikuwa anafanya biashara mm -hmm. Na daktari alikuwa anaitwa Dixon. Mm -hmm. So now Dixon mm -hmm. alikuwa na hospitali yake. Uh -huh. Na Peter he was a business man. Mm -hmm. But now Peter had a problem. Mm -hmm. Na alikuwa na problem ya uvutaji mm -hmm. wa sigara. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Na kabla hata ya kuendelea na zaidi ni vizuri kuweza kujua kwamba mm -hmm. paketi zote za sigara huwa zimeandikwa uvutaji wa sigara unadhuru afya, afya yako. yako so that yule ambaye anafanya biashara ya kuuza sigara asifikira kwamba tuharibu kazi yes. that is the truth mm -hmm. maana yake ameandikwa yeah. so peter mm -hmm. akawa ni mvutaji wa sigara kikweli kweli mm -hmm. per day angevuta jumla ya sigara 25 ah, yes per day so huyu ni mtu ambaye anakuambia kwamba alikuwa ameingia na kuwa a chain smoker yeah. now this dr dickson mm -hmm. hakupenda sana tabia ya peter na mara kwa mara akawa anawaza na kuwazua mm. mwenzangu huyu vile ambavyo anavuta sigara nyingi kiasi hiki mm -hmm. na vile ambavyo sigara hatari yeah. si anahatarisha maisha mm -hmm. so akasema pana wacha nichukue jukumu la kuongea naye mm -hmm. kwa hiyo akawa anamuongelesha na mwambie Peter wewe mm -hmm. unavuta sigara sana yeah. and that is not healthy ni huko kuwa we and peter is like ah dickson come on come on yeah. come on yeah. come on sasa wewe ju ulienda shule uka graduate sasa ndipo unaonanga ya kwamba you know everything by the way let me tell you something dickson for your information mm. my grandfather smoked all his life na alikufa na umri wa miaka 103 uh -huh. okay mm -hmm. ule jamaa mwenye tulizika last month mm. pale mm. alikufa na miaka ngapi 26 na ajawa ivuta sigara. You know so sometimes okay well <laughs> yes I understand you're a doctor. But but bro when your day comes it's here. You are a smoker or not you, you will, will die. So stop lecturing me. Because the fact that my grandpa alikufa na 103 years old and he was a smoke actually mm. babu alikuwa na smoke niliko so hizi mabitu zenyu za hospitali sije smoke i don't get it sasa yeye ndio mentor dickson akamwambia hey peter i'm a doctor mm. let me tell you i have dealt with cases yeah i have dealt with cases mm -hmm. so sikwambii tu hivi nikwambii kabishti hapana mm. Usiniangalie usi unione tu na kuongelesha kama Dickson. Mm -hmm. No. Niangalie from the position mm -hmm. yenye na hold. Yeah. I'm a doctor. Mm -hmm. I have dealt with cases. Mm -hmm. Za watu wenye na smoke hii kusimokea. Ah, kama bia kwenda. Eh, hey, kwenda wewe. Si umeona my grandfather, si unamjua. Yeah. Sasa yaani nyinyi madaktari unajua mnakuwa na shida moja. Mm. Ka kitu kadogo. Mna ka magnify na kuoneshana huu uh, ndimo uh -huh. mjulikane sijui nyinyi ndio mnajua sijui nini. Okay. <sighs> Dickson akasema, "Okay, all right, okay." Ah, I'm your friend and I'm I really worried you? because vile ambavyo unavuta pigi. Mm. Nah. Not working. Peter kamambia, "Acha nikwambie, life is for mm. the living." And let me tell you something. Hey, uh -huh. This is what I say sasa ni Peter anaongea. This is what I say. Mm. Tutaishi dunia milele? No. Dickson akasema, "No." So, ukipata kitu yenye nakupee satisfaction, tamba hey. naye. Aha. Uh -huh. Sawa. Na wacha nikwambie, tamba na? Tamba na? Tamba naye. Tamba naye. Shee. Alafu mpaka ilikuwa ile ya kutokea hapa. Unaona wa, wa, unaweza fikiria ni zile engine za plane mbili. Zinatokea. <laughs> you know sure. anamwambia tamba na 
kama nayo manzi hii story ya sijui nini too much nikwambie wacha nikwambie hata kama umesoma haya wacha nikwambie wacha nikwambie wacha sagodi ya kidesign sagodi ya kidesign sagodi ya kidesign ai ame decide Newton Dixon ako tu hapo so Dixon is just there Dixon akamwambia all right okay yeah, yako na patience then akamwambia and now on a serious note now i'm serious so mm. that is peter speaking na bado una kifegi hapa i'm very serious now let me tell you something from now henceforth mhm mm eh can you just let me be okay it's my life mm -hmm. it's my... na by the way unajua hata yeye madaktari huwa mnanishtua acha nikuulize swali Nikivuta so ningekuwa nishamwacha hapo akijiuliza Nikivuta nikivuta Ah Kuna mapafu yako inaharibika He atongee bwana nikusaidiwa na saidiwa Niambie Si yako ni safi Nikivuta kuna mapafu yako iko na shida He audacity Sawa so From now henceforth I don't expect you to be lecturing me like a small kid Okay I'm 29 years old Okay Okay? Uh -huh. I choose what I want to do with my life. Wow. Unajua, it's only because you don't smoke. I know there are other things that you do that could be crazier than I mean, we are talking about smoking right now. Hizo vitu zingine zinatokea watu. That's my life. Mind yours. Unajua siku hizi watu wako na shida. Kimbele mbele, mapua refu refu, kutaka kuchunguza wase. By the way, I hate it. How you have continued being my friend, I don't get it, but please, <laughs> can you just mind your own business? <laughs> hey. Okay. Anaenda kakienda kuisha unajua wanakashikanga hivi. Anafanya. Dixon anasema fine. All right. But Dixon akaendelea kusumbuka sana because aliona the rate. Mm. Yenye umse ana smoke hapana. Mm -hmm. Hai hapana. Akaendelea kuwe mpaka anaambia wife yake. Ai. Ai. Pita ndile na smoke ni vile ni rafiki yangu otherwise hata ni kama hiyo rafiki ningeachana na hayo mm. but i'm really trying to help him mm -hmm. but haoni yeye anachana kiniambia mambo ya guka yake na ule jamalizikwa yeah. sijui nini 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 anyway mimi mm -hmm. every opportunity nikipata nitakuwa ninamwambia ya kwamba smoking mm -hmm. is very hard. harmful harmful mm. hata walikaa sana walikaa around two months mm -hmm. then one day mm. pita akaenda kwa hospitali ya Dixon. Uh -huh. Ameenda. Mm. Amesukumwa na mwili kisawa sawa. Okay. Na amefika hospitali nje mm. kabla ingie. Ai. Ako serious akiwa mgonjwa. Na mahuli ya dandao. Alafu akaingia. So alipoingia of course Dixon hey, ana anaona tu. Akaambia bro Umekat week sana. Mm. Akasema ya. Yeah. Mimi niko na shida. Sijui nafikia aje, na fina fina sijui aje. Niko na mahoma, ni waje sijui na vila aje. Mhm. Mm sijui na vila aje. Akamwambia, "Hebu songa hivi." So, pita akasogea. Mm. Dixon akamwangalia mpaka anamfanya hivi macho, nini anamilika na katochi fulani hapo mm. kana kuanga hapo. Yeah. Ambie bu panua mdomo. Ambie we ni homa niko nayo, mdomo yangu naiuliza. Akamwambia yeah. panua mdomo. Si kwa hospitali ni nini wewe ama doctor nao hapa si yes, beast exactly. ama doctor hebu fungue hiyo yes. mdomo yako and then peter was like sawa <laughs> so akamwangalia 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 akamwambia hai bwana lose weight hivi hebu nikufanye test kadhaa mhm mm so ma test ma test okay doctor nini hospitali ya dickson ilikuwa mm -hmm. ni ka hospitali kazuri yeah. ma test ma test ma test uh -huh. ma test ma test ma test mm -hmm. <laughs> Yana kakam na makaratas. Kambia sasa <coughs> kuna test kadhaa tumeran na hizo tumetoa mbio mbio na zimeonesha negative 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 negative. There is one more mm. yenye sitakupesa hii. Unaweza kuja after 3 days. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime enda ukunywe hizi dawa. Mm. So akambatia madawa fulani hapa na kambia, bro. So, I know you don't like it but please I'm going to repeat it. Mm. Quit smoking. Akambia wewe kwenda. 
Na kuja after those three days, nini wewe una lecture juu nimekuja kwa hospitali yako. Una ama nini wewe akaambia hapana weenda. But please quit quit smoking. Mm. Ah. Akae? Yeah. Akaenda. After three days, mm -hmm. he had not yet improved. Mm -hmm. Akarudi. Akamzaniaje? Ukwaje? Akasema hapana. Okay, hizo dawa ni kazi zimenisaidia but bado sijui na feel aje kwanza mm. kuku. Na na feel sijui aje. Na hizi mahoma zenye aziishi. Yaani na feel too funny. Yeah. <coughs> Kambia, no okay, kaa hapo. Dixon akaingia na hapo ndani akatoka na makaratasi. Ngoja akamwambia <coughs> Kita ujaoa. Sasa kuoa na mimi kuja husi zinaingilia na watu. Hata hako mjibu. Ujaoa. Biashara inaendelea aje? Ah. Si kupua. Ni nini wewe unataka kwenda home? Mm. Akambia you are in hospital for crying out loud. I'm very serious. Mm. Now, pita. <coughs> Nataka kuingia hiyo room. Mm -hmm. There's a lady inside there. Mm -hmm. You talk to her and then you come back. Sawa. Sasa sasa nenda kuongea naye nini? Anajua hiyo home ako nayo ni kama sauti. Sasa nenda kuongea naye nini? Kambio ingia huko. Naongea na huko dada ako huko and then Kumbe alienda kutana counselor. Mhm. So akaenda kaka chini. The lady started talking to him, nini nini, mm. akimambia, you know, there are things, if they happen, what not, hey. he, and all that, abakada, edidididididi, CBC, GXC, yeah. CRE, yani, haka mungelesha, haka mungelesha, haka mungelesha, haka mungelesha. Mm. After kitu kwa ma 30 minutes, haka rudi, haka mambia, hey, nwe bonga na he, kambia, all right, okay. Haka mena, first of all, uta rudi home, mm. you're supposed to be admitted. Kusema na, kwa nini? Akambia we, tuende kwa hiyo rumi ingine. So wakangia kwa rumflani, pita kaka, andikso na kaa. Kambia nao. I hate to be the bearer of not good news. And the last tests yenye tuliran kwako. Mm. Yenye sande vimetoka. You have lung cancer. What? So Peter looked mm. at Dixon and came here. Mse. Mse. What are jokes? I Do I look like I'm joking? Mm. Well, it may progress, but we'll see what to do. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. as we see what to do is that uh, the rate at which, because now I have to tell you this news, mm. the rate at which it may, it may end up, again, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, mm -hmm. is that uh, is like, I don't know, it's like you have around three months. Three months to? Eh? Like, three months to live then. I come the three months to healing. I can be a, no, three months to live. Take it. Can be a yo, around three months to live. Mm. I want to act like a professional, but still I'm just feeling so annoyed. Mm. Because actually, your condition is as a result mm -hmm. of your stupid smoking. Yeah. Peter, I've spoken to you. So many times. So many times. Yeah. And the last time I spoke to you, ukakani kama mpaka una. So I'm just, okay, I want to be, nataka kuakt, you know, like a professional, but I'm also feeling very annoyed. Because now, what is this? 
So you are going to be admitted. Mm -hmm. I was actually to transfer you to a different hospital. Mm -hmm. But after we realized, I just decided you'd be around so that I can really see if something can be done. Inge ukoto izonguo, uvae zile za hospitali. Peter was shocked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he started crying. Akanza kusema, Dixon, mm. help me. Am I going to die? Akamambia, unfortunately. Because all the medical interventions in Yadafanywa is like, but I want to try as much as I can to help you. Mm. Mungu anazafanya a miracle. Yeah. So please, just, just, just do when you change. Mm. Like Peter cried, oh my God, what have I done? How I wish I knew. Sasa ini nini hi. Oh my God, give me another chance. Peter haka okoka, hapo na hapo. Hata kuna hey. maombi ya toba. Ali okoka yeah. mwenyewe. Yani, alipiga, yani, mm. unona, unona Saul and Paul. Hey, like. Saul going to Damascus yes, and, and then Paul to going to the same place, a totally transformed person, only yeah. that, you know, for three days he couldn't say that. Mm. Yani, yani, yani. Peter, rap. Very fast. Oh God, you know I love you. Oh God, forgive me all mm. my sins. Am I going to die? I don't even have a wife. What about, oh my God, mm. what about my business? What about my mom, my father, my what? Oh God. Why didn't you be Dixon was like, you can't yeah. do nothing. Haya, mm. Peter Kaku admitted. Mm -hmm. And from there, Akawa Chini Wangaliz Wanani. Mm. What Dixon? Dixon. Mm -hmm. Yani Mpaka Dixon Alijitole Mwenyewe Akakua Akasama. Hakuna Sikwa Tana Pika Simu Kusiju Angalio. Ni Mimi Ndakua Nakuja Kwa Kikisha mm. Kila Kitu. Kwa Sababu, Lazima Ni Jaribu Kumsaidia Sana. Katika Kipindi Hiki because Mtu Mwenye Kwa 90 Days Man. Yeah. You better make peace with such people. Right. True. So, mm -hmm. mwezi wa kwanza, mwezi wa pili, mm -hmm. mwezi wa tatu kafika. Mm -hmm. Then one day Dixon came. <sighs> Come on, <Bia. clears throat> How are you feeling today? Come on, Bia. <clears throat> Na sweat too. Na sweat sana. Dixon, how go pa? Mm. Now go pa. I don't want to die. Mm -hmm. Can be a sir. Are you born again? No. And I want to. Mm -hmm. Find me a pastor. Can be a I'll pray for you. Mm -hmm. Because for me, I'm born again. Yeah. Ni mara nyingi sana ni metaka kukatisha urafiki wangu na wewe, but for whatever reason, I will. Mm. Maybe God alini allow ni kui around for because of for this. You. So I'm going to pray yeah. for you, okay? So that you receive Jesus mm. as Christ and Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I want to get born again. Maybe there's a miracle that's going to happen. Mm. So akampanisha sala ya nini? Ya toba. Ya toba. Mm -hmm. And then akamambia, I hate to be the bearer of <laughs> Bad, Bad news. news. But now just you know, prepare yourself because any time. You will be going. Any time. Yeah. And Dixon left. Mm -hmm. Watch a pita leave. Watch a pita tubu. Akasemba mungu. I took for granted mm. the life that you gave me. Yeah. My friend tried to talk to me and mm. counsel me and do all he could have done. Mm -hmm. I refused to listen to him. Nilijipia motisha na kibia nguvu na kesi ya babi yangu na nani na nani na nani. I mean, kiburi changu kilinifanya mpaka, nikakosa kuona mpaka the position mm. ambayo na hold as a doctor. Yeah. Nika muona ni kama mtu ambaye, amepagawa sijui. Mm -hmm. Mungu, ukanipa na fasi mingine. Mimi. Ndakuwa naona sigara ndiyo hii, na mimi naenda hivi. Haka <laughs> uh -huh. sema, I promise you, oh God, mm. if you give me another 
chance. Mm -hmm. Sign the life is so precious. Yeah. Give never a chance. Mm -hmm. I'm still young. I'm still young. Oh Lord. The following day, Dixon came. Come uh here, -huh. hey, sir. Mm. You good? No. I'll be all right. Then I come and be a Dixon, I, I mean Peter. Uh, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. You have smoked and smoked and smoked, and that is why you're there. Mm -hmm. But let me ask you a question. What if mm. God was to give you another chance? Mm -hmm. Because whatever we were looking at, for by now, Sidani Unafakua. But anyway, God is the giver of life. But I want to ask you, mm -hmm. what if something it changed to, and then you find that you have another opportunity? Una is a smoke tenna. Take a how? How? First of all, I've given my life to Christ. Yeah. Secondly, I have seen what smoking has okay. done to my yeah. health. Look at me. Mm -hmm. If I get another chance, oh God, God, mm -hmm. that would be the best thing ever to happen in my life. Mm -hmm. And then he started crying. Then our Dixon de Vakaenda Fali Ambapo Alikua Kamakilem Kono, Kwenye Bega. Pambia, Peter. Are you sure you have accepted Jesus? Kasema, I meant it. Mm. Did you accept him because you're going to die? Or because you realized that it was a big mistake that, that he, you did? Kasema, I just accepted, you know, because all that, For all everything. is zote. Yeah. Okay. Peter, mm -hmm. you don't have cancer. Surely. I don't have cancer. You look home. But I had to teach you mm -hmm. how precious life is. Because I had tried all I could, mm. and I knew you were perishing. Mm -hmm. So when you came to my hospital, <laughs> I knew. I knew from the word go that you didn't have cancer. Mm -hmm. Nilijua ni homa. Mm -hmm. But I had to teach you mm. how precious life is. Mm -hmm. Peter looked at him, Akamuliza. Dixon, what are you saying? You didn't have cancer. It was just a cold. But you really, really took life for granted. Yeah. You were just living a careless life. For that time that you have been here, mm. you have realized that once you lose mm -hmm. your health, you actually lose everything. If God doesn't intervene, you mm -hmm. can't get it back. Yeah. So when you have an opportunity mm -hmm. of making sure that you live right, please mm -hmm. do. Yeah. Can you imagine if actually it was true that you had cancer? Mm -hmm. You would be going. At a, you'd be gone. I have a question. Come on, don't you Peter? Would you have sued him? Would you have continued being Dixon's friend? Yeah. Amma. Ungefanya, hiyo ndiyo sali nata tuja tuangalie. Ungefanya nini? Kama wendo ungekua Peter. Peter. What would you have done? And then your friend tells you. You didn't even have. You didn't even have cancer. I want to teach you a lesson mm. of a lifetime. Yeah. Unge do. Mm -hmm. so. so that's our question. Give us your answer. Katika nambari zetu 0721-105-105-23814 or MBC ITV Facebook page on the comment section. Kabo ngekua wewe ndo Peter, what would you have done? So talk to us, tuakwa tukirudi, usiende mbali.
na ujiweke kwa viatu vyake mm, like literally. kama wewe ungekuwa pita wewe usichukue na ile nini attitude you know, I, don't, i have never spent money no no yeah. now we want you to va viatu vyake kama wewe ungekuwa pita and then dixon after all that suffering you have gone through repenting and all that and mm. then he comes and tells you how kwa na saratani i just wanted to teach you how precious life is yeah ungempeleka police wa mshtaki mm. ama ungefanya nini and be very honest be very honest be very honest mm. don't sugarcoat anything here yes we don't sugarcoat stuff right mm-hmm. tukirudi tukoje tuangalie exactly sasa usikie maneno we Nikicheleza ananihinua Nikianguka ananikumbatia Karibu na yeye hakuna unafiki Nikiwa na yeye ninaamani moyo Ana ya